Uh, what's up, y'all? Um, today is just a video. It's like my first video about graphic design. Um, one day I just want to have like this big company, and then just also teach people about you know graphic design and stuff like that, right? But you know, I got fired uh, last year, December, December 11th, and you know, it kind of messed me up a little bit because <clears throat> I've been fired plenty of times before. Well, actually, like four times before, but well, three times before. I don't know. But then every time I got fired, I started to start my own business. And you know, I was going to school for graphic design. I took a year off that year just to get some money. And then all of a sudden, like I realized how much. Just working takes away like the time to think like I mean well I, it was part-time well, full-time but I moved to fart uh, part time I moved to a uh, part-time eventually but then it kind of threw me off because I started that in 2017 because I got fired earlier 2017 and I started my graphic design business in March of 2017 but working this job that has nothing to do with it was like a hospital it had nothing to do with um, graphic design really but they have like a lot of stuff you can look around and see because you know you gotta open your mind up if you're a graphic designer you gotta see things look around how to, how it's placed you know but uh, I don't wanna get too deep in that stuff right now but uh yeah I wasted I was there for three years and I didn't know that time went by so quick because I'm like Oh snap! I mean, I was doing graphic design anyway, but sometimes I took some months off, and I went to school, and then I became a teacher for like a oh, it's an internship. I became a teacher in like 2018, and well, 2018 October to 2019 mid 2019, and I learned a lot from there because that job, because um, how much I didn't know, or because you know, I think a teacher's labeled under business as a graphic designer well your graphic design is on a business for college but I learned so much being a teacher and learn that kids you know kids over time they technology teaches them more about graphic design than you probably ever did in school but school teach you the like the fundamentals like the real down to the grit and experience for teachers because <clears throat> you should always ask your teacher like how did they get there to here? Did they ever want to be a teacher? Like, do you love being a teacher? And a lot of them do. A lot of them didn't know they was going to be a teacher. My teacher uh, was a te he was a he got he graduated for his master's in graphic design. But um, after that, he didn't really get a job after that for graphic design. He was just mostly doing mechanic stuff, like some stuff I did. For I did I worked at a diesel shop like a school bus fixing school buses for an internship because so I thought I wanted to do that but I wasn't built for that I learned I was a little bougie it's kind of messed up but not just that messed up but um yeah it's just that uh this is like the video I don't want to say video one because that makes you think too much and too many numbers and you stop making videos because you count them one by one <clears throat> You don't want to say vlog one, but I might say just like first video for real entrepreneur video. But I had old videos when I did, um, when I started. Because I had got a client right after I got fired. And I was so depressed that I, uh, you know, I didn't really finished that client's work. I did a lot of fun stuff like birthday party stuff, but you know I realized I want to do something definitely fun in graphic design. I like doing posters. I do dog tags. This is my dad's dog tag. It says Mo. I don't want to say Mo, but I said nickname now. I don't like calling him by his real name. It's kind of disrespectful to me. But he died in 2013. It's like what well, was 2020 right now like 7 years ago. And I just got over that, you know, it takes time, especially when you're young, because I was in high school when it happened. Yeah, it messed me up, so. Um, I'm going to show you guys a journey of being a graphic designer. 
because right now my grandma I can't say she worked for me but she basically worked for me right now and I'm I want my girlfriend to work for me too but she at work right now I've been working at home and I've been pulling in cash and I said here's a quick tip that uh, like once you really start selling stuff or get some knowledge before you start quitting your job to start doing graphic design like get all the information you need ask people who who has their own their own business because my uncle has his own business you know and yeah he has his own business for sure he had his own business for like I don't know how many years because his father had a business but my uncle had like plenty of other businesses or whatever I don't know much about it but he's always been a type of person who came who couldn't work for anybody else and over the time of me getting fired I started to not really disrespect managers but what they say to me <clears throat> seemed not to matter like they don't know what they're talking about some of them don't know, don't know what they're talking about my old manager was my girlfriend's grandma and she helped me out because I got fired at the other time they say don't take jobs from your girlfriend but it depends how the girlfriend is the family but I mean, they don't really do much, but it was it was there to help me. So I, I got a job for three years there. So, so also, if you in a business, also it's like you get into a job. Just know that they scale out when you're getting fired. Cause that's how I was going to school and I'm gonna finish at a certain time, and they're just probably expecting me to finish within the three years. And then I was like doing different majors. I did mechanics and the graphic design I'm still stick I'm still sticking to graphic design and I did um in business management right now that's kind of hard well not hard the homework is extreme and to me I can't say it's unnecessary because it's a lot of vocabulary you have like vocabulary words you have to learn you know you really do but yeah, but I'm gonna say this. But today, I just got paid for like doing dog tags. My friend Levi paid for two of these. These are like one for thirteen, with two for twenty dollars. And I also sell masks. This is my logo on my mask. I do. It's my name is like Nate's Graphics, but that's an old that logo. I'll probably get a new logo eventually, but um. Yeah. I mean, you know, to be an entrepreneur, you know, just my first video for y'all, I just want to say if you're starting to be an entrepreneur, please do your research. Like, write down, like, keep, like, I don't know what I have. Uh, keep a book like this. Like, just this. I don't want to show you everything, but keep this my friend Chris told me to keep this I always had a book like this when I was younger but I, I used to draw in it and my mom always had me have like to-do lists on on a refrigerator so I have a to-do list in here and write down my goals because 2018 I was smashing through goals I wanted a car and everything a new car because I have two cars a new car and then that came quick and then become a teacher I wrote it down and then all of a sudden I became a teacher I'm like oh it's kind of crazy like the energy was in the air like what you really want and you gotta make steps toward it. Like, put yourself out there. As a graphic designer, my uncle told me, like, I just put yourself out there for sure. Just, yeah, just put yourself out there. Like, post what you can do. Like, if you have a vacuum cleaner, I mean, it's like a really good vacuum cleaner, just go out there and create a detail in business cars. Or if you have, you good at painting, start showing people you can paint. You know what I mean? Sometimes you can do free work. You know, customers like free work, but don't do so much work like a big canvas that, you know what I mean, you just giving out all your hours, hard on You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, don't be dumb. I'll be real with you. Just don't be dumb. Don't be naive. Don't. I can't say don't be naive, but just don't jump into something and not do your research. And... Just don't jump into stuff if you don't. And just like if you don't love doing it, I mean I can't say don't do stuff for money. Do do stuff just to just to be happy, you know what I mean? Like freedom. 
drawing is like drawing makes me happy if cleaning makes you happy you know start a cleaning company you know fixing stuff just start something like you know if you like if you fix printers you know what i mean i like printers but i'm gonna fix the one right here right there yeah that one this is on bs i want to replace it but i'm tired of buying printers but my experience i'm a little reckless with printers and you can't put sublimation paper through a regular printer unless you get third-party ink and know how to fix printers you know what i mean but yeah that's it for today it's like the first video for entrepreneurship uh make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment for me and any suggestions like what other videos i should do like questions you have you know oh this, this shirt also is like introvert i make my own shirts but yeah just because i am an introvert and it's perfect for a graphic designer but you have to get out there to network but it's it's tough but yeah stay tuned with though